Everyone, welcome to the Body Beat Down. Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? Doing well, thank you for asking. Body Beat Down here. Michael on this Sunday morning. It is just now 9 o'clock. I've been up, been to the store, cooked a big breakfast for everybody, and uh, getting the day going. So, our new road, they paved our road. They had two months that we weren't in school. <laughs> and then, it was either two days or three days before school started. Uh, our first day back was just this Friday. They ripped the road up. That's pretty good timing. They had two months we were out of school. Just over two months. <sighs> Crazy. Still not done. I don't know if they got to put another layer here or not, but the sides don't look done to me. The rest of it looks done, but the sides don't look so great. And of course they're doing it all up around the high school, which is up there. High school is that way. Right there. So, anywho. Well, last week we had a pretty decent week of working out. I feel, I feel pretty good that I'm on track and doing things decent and I got all my I got all my goals accomplished and uh, that was very important to me to get to get all my goals accomplished I'll explain why give me a second So, as uh, some of you know, if you follow my channel long enough, you know that I found out that I had a uh, immune disease, whatever a blood, immune disease, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, with the low platelet, uh, uh, the low blood platelet count. Now, you know, stuff like that can go a couple of directions. One, nothing really happens. You just have a deficiency or whatever, and, and uh, you have a low blood platelet count, and you just, uh, you know, it just is what it is. Another thing, uh, a different option, a different path is well this could lead to some form of cancer and uh, what got me what got me really riled up about getting these goals is that I'm thinking that I'm gonna have cancer and that you know pretty much a death sentence in my opinion you know, Russian roulette at least. So, I started thinking about all these goals and and uh, setting new goals for myself in the gym. Other little things along the way. And uh, trying to get things accomplished. For the reason of, I didn't want to die being feeling like I left something unaccomplished in the gym. I at least wanted to accomplish that and uh, be able to go out kind of on top. 
and uh, sorry for breathing hard, but <sighs> I ate too much, I think. <sighs> can hardly breathe after I eat. Whew. But, uh, yeah, uh, when something like that happens, uh, every bad thought in the world crosses your mind. <clears throat> Pardon me. Everything that, you know, can go wrong or everything that's bad can and will happen. That's, that's kind of how I look at life, how I look at things, is I kind of, I'm one of those that expects the worst. I go ahead and expect the worst. But, now having said that, I don't mean... You know, there's not some underlying problem. And that maybe things couldn't take a turn for the worst. But, my doctor seems to think that all my numbers and everything look normal, look fine. It's just I have a little bit lower blood platelet count than I should have. I think it was at 120. Last time I had it done, it was 121. And one of the first times they noticed it, it was about, I think it was at 110. So, you know, when you're kind of faced with a possibility of dying a little bit before you're ready, a lot of things go through your mind. You start kind of thinking of things that you'd like to get accomplished, even even things in the gym, you know. You try to make people in the household pay attention to you when a breaker flips in the breaker box. Guys, this is the breaker that you need to look at. This is the breaker that's the problem. You need to reset the router and the modems. This is how you do it. You need to do this. Well, this is how you do it. And you kind of go over these things and uh, try to make them understand that you know, sometimes things happen. And uh, out of nowhere, you know, you put, you got your plumber and your electrician and your HVAC guy and whoever else your mechanic and and all that on the list and you put it on the fridge Guys, you need to know these things These are the people who I trust and who you who you call to come out and take care of this stuff So And not only that but I have a tablet that has, you know, online information. You know, passwords and emails and usernames and, you know, for bank, for our banking and paying bills and other stuff. Uh, even, you know, for my YouTube and Facebook, I told them, you know, when I die, you know, let people know I'm gone. You know, hey, this is how you make a video. You know, even my two younger boys, you know, my two boys are 27 and, 27 and 30. They don't know how to do this stuff like this uh, that I do. Why have I got a fly attacking me? You know, people need to know how to do stuff. So when the time comes, they're prepared. I need to know where your birth certificates are and your social security and your marriage licenses and your all your other stuff. They need to know these things. And people need to be prepared a little bit.
So, anyway, as far as work goes, I am a little unhappy with what they did to my route, but I'll soon get over it. As far as my working out times go, I don't know if that's going to change since I'm going to be getting home quite a bit later in the afternoons I may end up working out more in the mornings I don't know years ago years ago I used to work out in the evenings that's just how I ended up working out it didn't really bother me but you know since I started back in early 20 uh, 2021 I've been kind of always sticking to the same routine outside of a few days here and there where I decide well I'll work out early or I might get started an hour or two later because I had to do something but for the most part I've stuck to you know right around four o'clock what crow I don't speak crow so outside of having a bus of about 50 or 60 kids on it now instead of about 35 or so and half of them I don't know now uh, I guess we're gonna do all right It's always a little bit uh, stressful the first week or month, let's say. Because you got all these new kids. You don't know anyone's names. You, don't, you can't associate the kid's face with where they live. You don't even know their, where they live hardly. You're just guessing. You're going down the road. Anybody live here? Anyone live at Dollar General? Anybody live on that road? Anybody? So, that's another reason that we need helpers on the bus. They can help kind of do these things, but our county's too cheap for all that. But we're going to make it. I've been driving 10 years and I've made it so far. I guess I'll, I guess I'll make it again. Feels good in the shade. <laughs> Feels pretty good in the shade. But you get out in that, get out in the sun. It's a different story. Wear me out. I don't get out like I used to. You know, I don't do my walks every day like I used to. I don't cycle anymore, which kept me out on the road and out almost every single day too. I don't work outside anymore doing construction. Haven't done that in years. So when you're not used to being outside too much, just doing a simple one mile walk is a lot of work. So I guess another topic is drama on the internet. I don't want to get too much into things. I just want to say that, you know, I don't know why we can't all just get along and everybody be decent, but we're in a world of 8 billion people and I don't expect everybody to get along or like one another. And it could be just for the smallest thing. I don't like the way you blink. So I hate your guts. It could be whatever. I get it. I understand. But, I just wish everybody could somewhat kind of, sort of, get along and, you know, even if you just got to ignore, you know. If I don't like somebody, I don't pay attention to them. I don't go to their, I don't go to their social media, whatever their social media is. I don't pursue people and continue to 
go to their channels and their Facebook and YouTubes and Instagram and wherever else they're at. I don't, you know, if I don't like somebody, I don't want to be, I don't want to associate with them. But having said that, I'm also one of those people that if there is a problem, whatever the problem is, it's, you know, you blink. I don't like the way you blink or you punched me in the nose, whatever it is. I'm one of those people that can kind of get over things and at the end of the day, make amends and fist bump and try to get along with people. Whatever the cause, whatever it is, you know. We all say and do things sometimes that are not exactly perfection. So, let's get across this four way here. So, anywho, uh, I just want to give a shout out to everybody. Whether you like me or not, for whatever reason, I don't know, or, or we're best friends. A shout out to everybody out there who's at least holding it down, carrying on, going to work, getting up, doing their thing. And, uh. Maybe someday, some way, we can all somehow move on and be cordial to one another and support one another in some way. And uh, I think that's how we should try to be. But I know it don't always work out. So... Almost home, guys. Ah, oh, shade. Feels so good. Phew. So today, I'm doing this walk and talk. I'm going to hit the heavy bag. And uh, I'm going to try and make some noise on the drums. Because I haven't played yet. I haven't played this weekend. Saturdays are really weird for me. I just feel really tired and drained on Saturdays. And a lot of times I'll find myself sleeping and just sitting around dragging around more than anything. So... We'll try and get something done. We'll try and get something done today. So there's the old bus guys that means that we are home everyone inspire someone today yourself just like I try to do and uh, if you want to maybe like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down that's me Michael your incredible host and don't forget Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, and we'll see you next time on the Body Beat Down. Tree. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it! <laughs> <laughs>